it's time to begin watching for the new Google Play system update again, as Google has just released the initial change log for this month. There doesn't seem to be much in the release notes right now, but we could see new additions added as the days go by. I suspect that Google isn't in a rush to make major changes right now, since most of their energy is being focused on the big Android 14 update, an update that we could see released in the near future. So if we head on over to the support page that Google has dedicated to these patch notes, then we can see a few things have been announced. This includes a change for the ads label in the Google Play Store, as it is now being renamed to Sponsored. And they have improved the ability for us to report illegal content, while also enabling user sentiment tracking for apps and play reviews. And this is changing on Android Auto, Google TV, and Wear OS. Google Wallet is also being rolled out to some additional countries this month, although we don't have a confirmed list of new additions right now. There also has been some updates to system management services that aim to improve the privacy of the user. And lastly, in this list, we can see the usual bug fixes have been finalized for system management and diagnostic related services on a variety of platforms. Now, some of these changes will only go into effect when an application or service has been updated to a specific version. For example, we only get those improvements to user privacy when the Google Play Services application has been updated to version 23.30 or higher. And Google Wallet will only be available in those new countries after Google Play Services has been updated to version 23.31 or higher. Lastly, the new ads label change will only be visible when the Google Play Store application has been updated to version 37.0 or higher. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check to make sure we have the latest Google Play system update installed. This is done by opening up the settings application and then finding the update page for that. This location will be different depending on which phone you have, but you can use the search option and then look for Google Play system update for an easy way to find it. Once it's found, we're just going to tap it. And if you have an update waiting for you, then you should see it begin to download after the check has been completed. You will then be prompted to reboot the phone so that the update can actually be installed. For those like myself who are currently stuck on the July update, we will likely need to wait a few days up to a week or so while Google completes the rollout of these updates. These rollouts tend to take time as Google monitors the log files of updated devices so that it is sure there aren't any critical bugs that are being sent out to people. So after you have installed the latest Google Play system update, you will then want to install the latest version of the Google Play services application. The easiest way to check on this app is to visit the direct page in the Google Play Store. I'll be sure to include this link down in the video description below, but you could also find it in your app list from within the settings application and then tapping on the Play Store shortcut at the bottom. After you visit this page, 
if you have an update waiting for you, then you will see an update button right here. And just like before, even if you don't have an update waiting for you, it may just not be available for your device right now. Again, Google tends to take time when rolling out these new updates. So you'll want to check back every few days to manually update it. But you could also sideload the new version if you wanted to get the latest update right now. Finally, we can check to see if there is a new update to the Google Play Store application. And this is done by opening up the Google Play Store app and then tapping on your profile image in the top right corner. From here, we're going to select the settings option and then look for the about menu drop down. Here, you should see an update Play Store button that can be tapped to check and see if an update is available for your device. If an update is waiting for you, then you will be told that update is being downloaded and it will be installed shortly. However, again, if there is not an update waiting for you, then you will be told that the Google Play Store is already up to date. And again, you're just going to want to check for that update over the next few days. I do want to point out that Google could end up updating these release notes over the next few weeks. We saw this last month after the company announced the initial changes. A week or two later, they ended up updating the list with some new things that were being changed for the July Google Play system update. 